Hi guys, if you've ever been in vMix and gone to NDI Desktop Capture and tried to grab, let's say, Dota or any form of gameplay and bring it in here and then try to add the audio and notice that it doesn't work. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get your audio sound from a gameplay into vMix. It is actually a lot easier than you might think. What you need is one of these virtual audio cables. And this is the website. I will share a link in the description below of this video to this place. And this is where I got mine from. And it's also free to download. I haven't paid any money for mine. And there are some tutorials and explanation of how they work. Simply download it and install it, which isn't a technical difficulty. And then you need to go to your playback and select this to be a recording microphone. Just like how they explain there in the picture. Then you go back to vMix, you go to add input and you go to audio input. And here among audio devices, among all of your microphones, you're gonna find cable output VB audio virtual cable and I actually recommend that you have the mute in headphones available so that you go into hear what's on the virtual audio cable in your headphones inside your vmix I'm gonna show you case why just click OK for now and here it pops up virtual audio cable and audio on it then we go to the cog wheel and to audio and sound device instead of having default you're going to notice that you have Cable Input VB Audio Virtual Cable. Click on that. And suddenly we have audio from the Dota inside vMix. Dota is sending all its audio straight to the virtual cable and vMix is picking up everything that is on the virtual cable into vMix. So basically whatever you put on the virtual cable, you're gonna have inside your production. There is a huge advantage here. You see, I'm not picking up anything from the rest of the computer this way. For example, let's say you're sitting in a Discord meeting with a bunch of friends playing your computer game that you're now recording or live streaming on the same time, but you don't want your friends or your own voice to appear onto the stream or the recording. Well, everything in the Discord servers is now going straight to the default device while everything on the Dota or the game is going to the V virtual cable into vMix. So in this case, you won't have the Discord meeting conversation going into your production. But this could also be tweaked. Let's say you want to have a Discord podcast meeting and you want to record a conversation with your friends through Discord. Simply go to the audio section and change so that instead of going to the default device, it goes to the virtual cable instead. Be a little bit wary though because whenever something is sounding on Discord, let's say someone is messaging you or there's a pop-up message, that is gonna go into the production as well. So you might have to cancel a few things before you do that. This little virtual cable setup won't always work. However, for example, in this example game, Hearthstone doesn't have the option to change the direction where the audio is going because basically this is something of a mobile technology game so yeah that's what it is but most games will have the option to change the direction to another audio output source in the end there's a lot of different things that you can put on the virtual audio cable for example this virtual dj here you can see that the audio master output is going to the virtual audio virtual cable blah blah blah, blah. and as you can hear i can now construct some really cool dj things inside my live stream if I wanted to. I really like this little setup with the virtual audio cable because you can really direct all the audio perfectly. For example, you want this specific audio inside your production, but you don't want that specific audio inside your production. So you can really direct how you want the audio flow to go. But also when you're creating this little system and when you're going to save and when you're saving this vMix setup, you will save it with the virtual audio cable as well. So when you're opening your, let's say your gameplay, everything in your game is already correctly set up that it's going to the virtual audio cable and then you open your vmix and then, then you're opening your virtual audio cable with your vmix as well so once you've created this little setup you don't need to do much basically just open vmix and your game and you start recording immediately i hope this video answered all your possible questions that you had when you clicked on the video if you still got any questions feel free to leave those in the comments below and i will try and answer those questions thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time